Y'all, Russ here, RVTV. Welcome. Check it out. We're out here at Celia's Rainbow Garden. Yay! I love it here. Peace and quiet. Just a neat place to be. Ring the bell, ring in the new year, and guess what? A couple days, it's going to be a new year. Yay! <laughs> I've never seen so much uh, goodbye 2020, good riddance or whatever. I, I kind of tend to agree with it. Let's take a walk. This park, it is extremely well done. It's cactuses everywhere. Uh, the town took it over. I mean, it's a labor of love. It started just a memorial for a little girl years ago. Celia, and uh, it grew in. I think there's almost like two acres, I, I'd be guessing. But they got benches and memorials. There's a cool little, let's, we'll go find it, like a m miniature village over here called Adamsville. Look at the palm trees. Just a really pristine, well, well done little garden. Uh, little Christmas balls there on the cactus. <laughs> Here it is, Adamsville. A little storyboard there, but they got all these little miniature uh, houses and like a little town. It's really cool. If you've never been here, this is really one of the little gems of quartzite. Celia's garden here. It's connected to town park. It's all part of the town park system. Benches everywhere, especially this time of year. You can really come out and bird watch. Not too many people here usually. All right, well, oh, look at that. A one horse powered antique RV. <laughs> I had to say that. Let's keep walking. So I'm going to be in quartzite a few days. Actually, the first, on January 1st, Tyson Well, his first Rock and Gem show starts. We're going to film it. You got it. All kinds of good stuff. The shows are uh, getting going. So that's a cool thing. Town's still kind of empty, though. It's not as many people, but we'll have to wait and see. Still early. Christmas just got done. But isn't this cool? They got memorials. Like this one here I've seen a few times. Memorial for a gentleman, played a guitar. Isn't that neat? Then they got like a little amphitheater over here. You know, right across is uh, the RC Airfield, which is also part of Town Park. They actually got a paved runway, remote control uh, aircraft. Looks like a few guys are flying right now. The airfield gets used a lot. They even have 120th scale planes come in. And they got people from all over the country. They got a club. It's on Facebook. All kinds of goodies. All right, well, let's wander back to the van. We're going to head over to Tyson. See what's up. Get the shows going. Yay. Kind of chilly weather. Look at that. Look at the shoes. Isn't that neat? To be remembered forever. Oh, look at that picture. Huh. Keep on going. Nice. All right. To the van. There's the picture of Celia. Her memorial sign here. She's the daughter of uh, the late Paul Weiner, the bookstore owner, and his wife Joanne. They've lived in Quartzite a long, long time. 
All right, here we go. Got to take a look from the air. Look at them cactuses. Them things are tall. According to them charts, big ones like that, they're over 100 years old. To get here, that's Plymouth Avenue. Straight out. Past that's all desert. That's all uh, Arizona Peace Trail that goes clear up over the bows. Look at the park. Look at the layout of it. See all the little pathways, trees. Not too many trees in quartzite. We can see how well laid out it is. I mean, it started just as that little memorial and grew into all this. Through the years. They got volunteer groups and all that. Down there, there's Pavilion, Dog Park. There's a good look at the runway for the RC Airport. It's all remote control. Them guys fly all winter long. There's looking straight out towards the north, up towards Parker. And there's the busy Highway 95. Central Avenue cuts straight to Quartzsite. There's a good look at some of the RV parks. And there's the big town itself. Quartzite. Yay. Once again, get a chance. Check out Celia's Rainbow Garden. Let's head on through town. I'm usually the only one out here <laughs> in the mornings. You know what else is really good about this spot? I don't know what it is. It's close to the cell towers. You get like five bars. Either Verizon or AT&T. So I'll check emails and stuff here. But don't tell anyone. Okay, that's a secret spot. <laughs> okay, we'll make a left. Yep, straight out. There's a pavilion. In the non-pandemic, non-COVID times, they have get-togethers there, little bands, but pretty much all that kind of stuff's been canceled this season, except the shows. We definitely got to check out too, see what's up with the big tent, see what they're up to. Okay, right here's Plymouth. Just remember Town Park. In the pavilion, and it's there's signs for that. Silius. Always enjoy going there. I had a great break over Christmas. Took a few days off, no videos. Went and did a little metal detecting. No, let's cruise the dog park. <laughs> what else is there to do? Cruise the dog park in Quartzsite. <laughs> this is one busy place, though. I mean, uh, it looks brown, but that's the only grass in like a hundred miles in the desert. You don't see grass. People come down here and they'll spend hours with their doggies and visit. Look at that guy barking at me. <laughs> he must know me. Too funny. Been straight across. There's a huge playground. So if you got kiddos or grandkids, you can bring them down. Big old uh, playground there. They got ball fields, all kinds of good stuff here. Community center with a workout room, which that's kind of restricted right now because uh, you guessed it, COVID. On the right, you see those airplanes? Now that's a cool little place. Can stop in there uh, they have a lot of like uh, veteran services and all that there ceremonies planes have been here as long as I've been coming around check out the fountain it's donated by the quartzite garden club they turn it on I think in the summer they shut it down because it's just too hot to evaporate it's pretty well maintained all of these parks are I mean quartzite really puts a huge effort to make a nice places for people to visit and it's all free 
totally free. Well, we'll make a left here at the stop sign. Be sure to check out Town Park. Make a left there. Off to the right, the big building. The Heart of Quartzite Town Hall. In there is also the library. Uh, all the town offices. You can get free Wi-Fi. A lot of people park in the parking lot. Tap into the Wi-Fi there straight out of the library. Then off to the left here, look at the water tanks. Behind there, there is a 1,200-year-old tree that's been documented. And it's part of the Arizona Historical Deal Society, whatever they call it. Anyway, we'll check that out. I, I filmed that a few years ago. We'll check that out again, hopefully soon. Okay, make a right here on Riggles. Let's do our drive down Main Street, and we'll head on over to Tyson. Feels good to get out. It was nice taking a couple days off, too. I needed that. Hope everyone had a great holiday, Christmas. Hope everything was safe and happy. Best you can do it for this year, 2020. Well, we got three days left in 2020. <laughs> Goodness. Down here, this whole area down here in the next couple years is going to change big time truck stops bought, bought up all this property down here. They're going to turn this into a trucking mecca, I guess. It's going to be huge. This whole restaurant here on the right, uh, they closed that down. Then here's all the stores. Dollar store on the right. That Patty's RV, you can buy propane there. Then the Coyote Mart food store right there. A couple food places. Old, old time RV park there on the left, Crawford's. There's the old Chevron. Another food store. Taco Mio. That guy stays open year round. They got okay food. Right there on the right, that blue purplish looking building, that's uh, where you do your UPS and FedEx. They're open through the winter. You can do all the UPS stuff there. Then cruising on down. Post office is getting jammed up, so you know people are in town. Got the High Alley uh, Market, you know, that's a true old time. That's where you find your antiques and all the rusted junk, old signs. They even got a little auction, I think, that goes there a couple times a week. Check out this old built these old buildings there on the right. It says Auto Museum. I've never been in there. I think it's private. You always see the old cars. Then someone opened up the restaurant here at the Stagecoach. People have been talking about it on Facebook. And then the famous yellow tank. Can be tools is back in there. Be sure to stop and check out Can B if you need RV stuff, tarps, all that. He's got everything. He's also got a store over there at Tyson. And here we go. Up here's the downtown. <laughs> I always like saying that. Downtown Quartzite. Yay. On the right, you got all these little shops here. Uh, a lot of them are like rock and gem shops. They're pretty cool to walk through, too. That one that has the biggest buck belt buckle in the world. Gifts. Just unique rocks. All kinds of good stuff. Old Steve Hardy, Hardy's Beads and Jewelries, he's been there forever. Then this big blue building on the right, that's a tire shop. Then don't forget about Chamber of Commerce down here. Uh, go see Rain. She's got all the maps and everything about Quartzite. 
All right, we're going to make a left up here. Head on over to Tyson. Well, you can tell the town's getting busier, too. Every street corner's got a cardboard sign holder. <laughs> Wanting money. This is where they all hang, down around the truck stops. Fast food places. And here's the world-famous Exit 17. Hasn't been too busy this year. Always use Exit 19 if the town gets full, gets packed. But right now, that's pretty good. Look at the blue sky. It's a pretty day. Just kind of crisp. It's in the 50s, a little breezy. Nights are getting down in the 30s. There's Love's Truck Stop. And this is Kewen Street. This kind of follows along uh, Interstate 10, like a frontage road. Right here in the right. Flags are flying. There's Desert Gardens. I see a bunch of vendors. Look at them all. Them guys are really getting set up. This showground here, this these guys really specialize in uh, rough cut rock. They sell it by the ton. Literally. They bring it in in semis and they have huge rock cutters. It's really something to see. Definitely check out Desert Gardens. It's a fun day to spend there. Here's Tyson. <laughs> Tyson Wells, the number one showground in Quartzite. See on the left there, that's a huge parking lot. Matter of fact, let's do a big loop around. I'll show you where all the free parking is. Off to the right, that copper roof building, that's the game store and headquarters to Tyson. Oh yeah, look at they got vendors setting up now. Look at all the flags going. Always remember when you see the flags flying, the vendors are open. That's always a true sign of people in quartzite in the winter. Even in the desert, people fly flags. It's kind of cool when you drive around out in the desert. Okay, right up here. See if I can't miss it. Right before we get up this traffic light. Right past this little motor home, there's a driveway. Turn in here. Now this goes back to the parking area, to all the free parking in the back. So if that side one's open, look at all the firewood. Wow. See all these rock guys are setting up. His rock show starts Friday, January 1st. Those semi-trailers are full of rocks. That's how they haul them in. <laughs> Literally, it's amazing. Look at the little TP. I think them guys sell honey and they sell wood products. They're setting up. See, these guys are still setting up. The show doesn't start till Friday. But look on the right. This is all free parking back here. And the secret to getting here, well, this year's different, but because of the pandemic, but is normally get down here by nine o'clock and you'll always find parking. Then enjoy your day. If you wait till mid afternoon, good luck. This place will be jammed, especially during the big show, the Salarama and the Big Tent. Let's stop here at the game store, get our bearings straight. The next few videos, we're going to be, just be exploring all over here. Checking out vendors, a little metal detecting, and who knows what else. Be sure to watch the next video. Talk soon.